love letter. A beautiful, cold, warm day, this seems like. Now, despite the revelers waking me up several the previous night, still, I felt it deep within me. The peace that derived not from the surroundings without, but rather born from a deep set gratitude and acceptance of all things from deep within my heart. I could so easily choose to complain, but focusing even more do I realize the life as it is was never really based on my acceptance or even disapproval of it, but rather on an intentional resolve to embrace, jal into, and learn to understand and even appreciate every moment as it so rolls into my space. Just like your absence here with me as has become habit. Of more importance to note is that, as the revelers woke me up in the still of the night, it wasn't their noises that mattered most, but rather your absence that felt so present all around me, even as I tossed onto my side to find an empty pillow. And with this absence, have I woken up to write you this love letter. Now standing here before my kitchen window, as my morning air seems so still, it is easy for me to get lost in all this stillness and breathing its mixture with the earth beneath. Do my lungs fill up with your beautiful presence, even in distant absentness? In this beauty review, do I lose myself, eluding even the present power out that I walk up to? Hence, no calming instrumental music for my background to wake me up, save for your lingering essence. So before I lose myself hence, in this present reality of your essence seeping into me, and in process, miss the calming welcome sunrise over the eastern horizon, alongside the rising early buds that now fill my ears with beautiful morning songs, allow me to say, blessed days and pleasant nights. A truly pleasant night it was, as despite the raging instantaneous revelers' noises, still, I found comfort in the thoughts of your distant love. And yet still blessed day it is, as with these early rise, does everything remind me of your constant beauty that so fills my heart. Sipping down my second glass of cold water this morning, as I await my tea to brew softly over the gas cooker. I can't help but relish in its aroma now filling up my tiny kitchen to rival your beautiful scent that always left all my senses in disarray. Thoughts of all these flash a warm smile upon both my lips and heart even as I but acknowledge the beauty and glory of all these tender letters we so share between us. A reminder to my last question to you, of whether you think that were it not for these constant letters of affection we share between us, would our love really stand the test of time or not? And with this moment here, do I get the answer to all that? I mean, or is love but a shared burden of affection between two individuals of totally different mindsets? Not that a lack of reciprocation of the same would ever kill my affection towards you, but still, I believe a lack of it would sure water down all the effort so far invested, right? With this thought in mind, have I made it my responsibility to approach my love for you, not as a task, but rather as a part of what builds me, more like a growth to myself. One in which a lack and forgetfulness to feed would ultimately mean my consequent hunger and deprivation. Yet tell, may I not burden you with much as I feel quite accomplished this morning having beaten the mailman's evening collection of this letter to you. As it is, my day has just begun and he has a whole day's errand before he gets here. Of much joy or is that, for today, I get to ride and wish you a blessed day from my heart even before you begin your day. Now such, my dear beloved beauty, plays the simple joys 
that come along with loving you. Call it a plus and token of love itself. So as blessed as this day begins, with the golden rays as reflected from the planet Mercury rising over my heart, may its joys flow from within my heart and through the very tip of this dripping pen to you. And just as beautifully as this day dawns upon me, may your day carry forth its splendor and every moment through it brighten with more pleasurable joys that your beautiful smile lights along your way. Now as Alia promised, I will not wear you out and hence I have no question today but a note, a note to remind you that as long as breath flows through me, such place the floor of my love for you, constant and unending. So until the next time the mailman graces my way, a sign that you'd have received and hence responded to this letter of affection to you. My dear beloved beauty, please stay blessed and stay safe. It's your true and sincere love paper, the sketches of life.